Hello there everyone, my name is Matthew McKenna and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be listening to some of Icarus Falls by Zane. I've had this requested like so many times and no lie, I went to do a video that was like a full album reaction only to discover that the album had 27 songs. So I looked at that and I was like, that is not happening. I am not doing that. Even if I spent like two minutes on each song. That's like 50 minutes of video. <laughs> That's like practically an hour, especially when you account for an intro and an outro. So we'll start with some songs. And if you want more, I will do a part two. Just let me know down in the comments below. Before we start though, if you're new here, make sure you click subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. The first one we're listening to is called Entertainer and it's also a music video. It also looks quite short. It's three minutes and 30 seconds. I hear waves. You thought you had me, did you? His voice sounds really pleasant and it's a good sound, but he's also kind of doing that mumbly style, which I've not been that big a fan of with him. I've preferred when he really clearly pronounces his lyrics. Never see you coming, I'll tell you that. Well, it's nice hearing him do a chorus kind of a bit lower pitch. I feel like the last ones I've listened to have been pretty high and he pulls that off amazingly, but this is an interesting change. You my he is still getting some higher notes in there. You So obviously it's the first one we're listening to, but it does seem like this is just kind of about sex, the whole, you're my favorite entertainer. But I would love to hear Zayn tackle a topic that maybe has a bit more substance. We'll see what the other songs are like. Although, did he say, when you need me the most, I'll turn you down? Maybe it's like, not what I thought it was. So like, I mean, it's still like about relationships and stuff, but I guess it's kind of the inverse of what we've come to expect. This idea of like, I won't be here for you. <laughs> Just letting you know. This is entertaining, it's fun while it lasts, but it's not serious. That wasn't really my thing, but I can see why someone would like it. It was catchy, definitely. <laughs> and like, I actually really liked the melody, but it was somewhat I guess dampened by the fact that like for the most part I couldn't understand what he was saying. And I get that like for a lot of people that doesn't really matter, but for me it does. I really like to hear what the song is about. The next song is called Too Much featuring Timberland. Ooh. Okay, I didn't expect the animation and I'm down with it. Okay, this is also very different for Zane. It's an interesting beat and a backing track that I haven't really heard for Zane. There's the high notes. <laughs> so far, I'm liking this a lot more than the previous song. I gotta keep it on the deal, then again, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> then again, what do I know? I do like when lyrics of pop songs aren't like just talking themselves up. A lot of people understandably are very obsessed with image. So hearing people being like, then again, what do I know? Like that's nice. That keeps it grounded for me. Again, I'm not really getting a sense of like sort of story or subject, but for this song, that's not as important for me because I'm really just digging the song and the music overall. To be honest, if this was just an instrumental, I'd probably still listen to it. You just can't love me now. I, need a touch. I am liking this little loop animation though. It's pretty cool. I really like when artists like you know, if you don't want to do a whole music video or anything, when they at least commit to having some sort of visual. I know it's a loop and it's, you know, maybe it's like a 10 second loop or something, but it gives someone that's just looking at a screen a little something extra to keep them engaged. It's like the old like weird pulsing images they'd have on like, Windows Media Player or whatever it was. <laughs> Overall, I, I really liked that. I have no idea what it was about, <laughs> but music wise, I was really digging it. I liked it a lot more than the first song. I wonder if we're gonna keep on this trend of like me enjoying each song better than the last. <laughs> so the next one we're gonna listen to is called Fingers and like the picture that's in the video is understandably of fingers. So <laughs> this could be about anything. This is like quite simplistic too. But again, I can't understand a single word he's saying. What's actually kind of annoying about that is like the way that he delivered those words just then, I loved. That sort of weird like staccato style of half rap. I love that, but I had no idea what he said. 
This is a really like funky song in the way that it's like layering on these effects and, and playing around with sounds. It's honestly not dissimilar to like the way that say Childish Gambino plays around with his effects. This kind of feels like a song where Zayn was like, I'm just gonna have some artistic freedom. <laughs> oh, that reverb, man. <laughs> One thing that I like is when they make the bass impactful. If you look back maybe like six or seven years, you'd find that like bass was such a huge thing. You'd get these thumping beats. And one thing that I'm I'm finding a lot more and that I'm actually really enjoying in, in, in the music scene is that the bass kicks and those hits are being used a bit more conservatively. When you're playing drums, for example, your basic rock beat is like, it's a one, two, three, four. And on the one you kick and on the three you hit the snare drum. So it's like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And when that came to like a lot of electronic music or stuff that was kind of a blend between genres, people were using bass kicks every bar that just like boom, boom, boom. And like one thing that's really nice to see is in songs like this, there were stretches where they didn't use the bass, even just bars where they didn't use the bass. So that when it comes back and when it hits, it kind of, it feels a bit more rewarding, you know? And it's especially powerful to use like that at the start of a chorus. It's something I've started to see happen uh, quite a bit more and playing around with things like that for me is always gonna be pretty cool. All right, so the last song we're gonna listen to is called Satisfaction. Mm. It's a beautiful opening shot. Nobody said this would be easy. This sounds like he's singing about something a bit more serious. Nobody gave me a rule book to follow. That's a nice line. No one gave me a rule book to follow. I can't get no satisfaction. So it seems to be about war, I'm assuming, based on these visuals. Life is always in the way. This is beautiful so far. All in my zone. It's getting kind of like choiry with that. The way he's laid his voice is a really nice there. All in my zone. All in my space. Some of these shots are so nice. Such a feeling of community going on here too. I can, you can, we can get no. I love that pulsing beat. It's so steady and it's just there. I can't get no satisfaction. Love. I hope that like what's burning isn't their community, which it kind of seems like it is. Oh, whoa, what a visual. Wow, that was beautiful. What a song to end it on. Beautiful visuals. Beautiful sounds, beautiful lyrics too. Some of those were really, really nice. And the message I took away from it was like about the idea of how difficult it is to find somewhere where you fit and how that can be such a beautiful thing when you find it. So don't destroy it. And also don't let it be destroyed, whether that's by you or by external forces fight for that. Overall, I really, really liked that. I would say that that's my favorite out of the four we've listened to. I don't really think there's much else to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.